going on, Legion? As you'll hear, like always, do we're doing Tornado Pilots Fall Away featuring Dr. Blum. I hope I'm just like pronouncing that at all correctly, not some weird ass. Last time I said something because I'm dyslexic and it was wrong, it was Mike and Min, and I kept saying mice. It was M I C, and I just jumped right to mice. Oh my god, I had so many comments about you know people being dumb. You know, I, I literally had a, a, a comment pinned saying, yeah, I know I misspoke. Who? Some people. Some people are oblivious. Or do they just want to get that stuff out of their head? So either way, if I'm just kind of mispronouncing something, oh fucking well, I guess. But anyways, what's going on, guys? Uh, and uh, yeah, let's, we're going to be... Blah, 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 re, or, let's redo that. <clears throat> we're going to be doing some 21 Pilots Fall Away. We're only going to be doing two 21 Pilots this week. We went kind of ham last week. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We did a lot of stuff. Uh, and, uh, this is just a weird intro. I don't even know how I even, did I say what's up, Legion? As you like always? I don't know if I said that. Either way, let's get into it. Check it out. See what it's all about. Let's hope it's good. I don't think I said that on the last video. Fuck, I'm slipping. Oh, yeah. You know that I'm not that reactor that pauses every 30 seconds. You know it, so don't criticize me now. I am a sucker for a trumpet, for a horn, Spanish horns, anything. I, I like horns a lot. My favorite instruments, typical guitar, rock and roll, you know, badass, of course. Violins, uh, the harmonica, saxophone, and a trumpet. Those are the, those are the instruments I love to hear the most. Have you guys ever seen the anime Cowboy Bebop? There's an epic episode with a harmonica. It is so good. <laughs> I can see him smiling. I can see him looking at it. He's like... <laughs> he definitely got a big old pat on the back when you hear that crowd. He definitely was like, yeah, yeah, I'm badass. He's talented, man. Oh, I gotta go back with the dabbing. It's super hot. No AC, because it's loud, and it's hot. Uh. Ooh. It's like kind of Bourbon Street remix kind of thing going on. He looks like a frog! He looks like a frog! Oh, it wasn't even him. I couldn't even tell. I'm gonna pause again. That's why that guy was smiling. Because it looked, for me, it looked like Josh. Right? Um, uh, yeah. Or not Josh. Um, uh, Tyler. It looked like, it looked like uh, Tyler. And uh, when the crowd went crazy... He uh, he looked like he was smiling a lot, and I I thought that was abnormal. I'm like, look, he's smiling. It's because it's not the guy. I couldn't really tell for a second there. That guy was great at the horn. Don't criticize me because I miss, you know, the guy literally had a, a trumpet in his mouth and his face was flaring off. I couldn't tell who it was. Either way, that's why that guy was all kinds of proud and patting himself on the back because that dude was a badass with that horn. And now we have light on his face. Is that his brother? Maybe not. Kind of look like it looks like it'd be related almost. Dr. Bloom from Mr. Wives. 
Not a brother, I'm assuming, then. Oh. I just heard it. Dr. Blum. Dude! Jesus Christ! Oh! What was that part? Like right there. Repeat after me. Oh man. Oh, that's, that's... Dude, they look so similar. They look like they could be related. No joke. Dr. Bloom. All right, so now it's making sense. You know. I'm going to go ahead and just not redo this or, or not edit any of that out because I feel, man, <laughs> so this is how much I'm just not in the know. Uh, hey, man, you guys could be happy for that, whatever. Uh, I am so not in the know that I didn't realize who that was until he said Dr. Blum. I completely forgot that there was a featured person on this song. I wasn't paying attention, I guess, or I, I read it, but I didn't retain it. It's kind of embarrassing. Also, for the people that actually stayed at the end of these videos, I, I, I wonder how many people are going to go down to the comments and say something without actually hearing any of the parts where I said, oh, shit, that's blah, okay, got it. I realize it, not a brother. Like, I acknowledge all this, but I'm going to get comments saying, not his brother, that's Dr. Blah, blah, blah. Excuse me. And it doesn't matter if you delete those comments in, on the actual video. I get all notifications uh, in the notification section, even if they've been deleted. So good luck with that. Uh, so, dude, this song was fucking incredible. Let's get on to that point. Let's, let's get over my embarrassment of not knowing what the fuck was good. I felt like I just showed up to, like, something I was invited to. I, I feel like I put on a show, and I showed up, and I didn't know what the fuck I was doing at my own show. Like, this is a video. I'm doing a reaction. I don't know what the fuck I'm reacting to, pretty much. That's kind of... It's a little embarrassing. I will be honest. Um... So, in general, in general, this song was a 10 out of 10. This live performance is a 10 out of 10. In the first half, when we were about, like, say, like, right here. This part. Let's, let's go over this. Let's get over to, let's see where, uh, it might be a little sooner here. Actually, I think it was right here. Right here, I'm like, easy nine. Easy nine, no problem. And we kind of his voice is it's live so it's very much not as impressive as an instrument you know why his long flow that that uh, Tyler did was was pretty good and the way Tyler's singing watch like right here the way Tyler's singing watch The way he's just kind of doing it, it's, it sounds really good. Really, real appealing to the ears. And here I'm like, this is a 10 right here. All because of Blum. Easy 10. This part was whatever for me. I'm always comparing people when they do something to somebody else. That's just who I am. So, like, that was really good, especially towards the end of it. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude, he's really doing it. But, of course, as someone that's grown up listening to Eminem, you know, you, you can't help but compare. Like, I understand that this is a musician doing this and not a full-time, like, rapper. That's why it's impressive in that regard. And no one's going to be like Eminem anyways. He's top five greatest of all time, um, living or dead. But I was like, okay, okay, okay. And then he... And they got to the end of it, I'm like... This part, right here. So... This part was like, I was like, eh. And I'm like, oh, you know... You still got... That was pretty sick. That was good. 
the way he's singing. This part. The singing and the trumpet together. Just like it's an 11 out of 10. Easy 11 out of 10. And then them ah, oh, let's listen to that again. And then when they get together, when they get together and they start singing, it's like oh, trumpet dude, blum, right here, an 11 out of 10. That part, that part. Oh, uh, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep listening to it. So when he does the solo, it brings it up to an 11 out of 10 for me. Like right here. When they start singing together, I mean, would you guys really be surprised if I said it's like a, tw a 20 out of 10? Right there, dude. That if you've ever listened, to, uh, watched me react to like tw uh, Fourth Impact or any. Boom. If you've ever listened, listened to, or watched me react to like a lot of female singers, whether it's Fourth Impact or anyone else, I can they know that. Oh, like that that long note. I know I don't do it justice. That's one of my favorite things in all of music. So like when you have him doing the trumpet, which is one of my favorite instruments of all time. And him singing like Oh dude. That's 120% effort right there. This is, I mean, we don't go crazy with, with like, you know, we don't go crazy out of uh, uh, of ratings and stuff like that. You know, we usually give it a, a 0 to, uh, you know, 10 kind of thing. I don't remember if it was Pet Cheetah uh, that I said 11 out of 10 just because I said I really liked it. Um I think I did. I, I actually don't remember. I think I just said it was a 10. Um, and I think maybe the week before I said something was an 11 out of 10. But, dude, I give that like a, a 20 out of 10. Like, no joke. This is probably my favorite performance from 21 Pilots out of everything I've ever heard. This dwarfs uh, Fairly Local, which was one of my favorites for anybody that doesn't know that. Um, and um, this destroys Heathens. Which is my was my favorite of all of their songs. This live performance. Why are we looking at fucking Josh or fucking Josh's nipples? Fuck out of my face with that, Josh. God damn. We've seen his nipples enough. We're good. Uh, but I think this is 100% my favorite from them ever. Hands down. Easy 11 out of 10. If we're going to be dumb, let's just say 20. But 11 out of 10. No problem. That's Dr. Blum, my man. I might just go on a reacting spree of just his stuff or whatever he's doing because oh I want to listen to just that part I just want to listen to his parts one more time for anybody that listens to rap and you and, you, and the, the joke is always that Eminem goes on somebody else's track and then just destroys the person that owns the album right it's their track Eminem comes on and does better than them for all you fans out there no disrespect but Blum Stole this video 100%. Dude, dude is fucking incredible. But the way fucking Tyler's singing. I think.
think I kept calling him Josh and did uh, Petchita. Just that, just that horn alone. I'm like, okay, it's a 10. Easy. Oh, dude, it's so good. You're like, okay, yeah, they just brought it up to an easy 10. It's no problem. And then, boom. It's like... Okay, it's an 11 out of 10? What's going on? This horn is just too good. Listen to that. It's an 11 out of 10? Yeah, okay. And then they just destroy the chart right here. It goes beyond an 11 out of 10. It just destroys it. The best singing from Tyler I've ever heard. Dude, that was, that was so damn good. Oh, man. I'm going to put this on my playlist right now. It is just, it's fucking 10 out of 10. Easy, easy. I'm going to put it in, like, whatever folder I put it on. I'm going to put a zero in front of it because I want it on the top of my list. That was, that was so fucking good, man. This video is a little long, but, dude, we listened to those parts, like, what, three times, four times? Man. <laughs> That was so good. I am, they just, they did everything. Now, other people may disagree, that's fine. But for me, those long note carries, I love that in music. I just, I love it. Cause you're just like, it's like an emotional thing for me. I'm like, oh yeah, he's so fucking awesome. For me, that's watch like, like when you've watched live performances, one of the best parts about watching like a, say an award show, not like the Oscars, that's all hoity-toity, but so like Golden Globes and stuff like that, where they have live performances, mostly like, um, uh, like wherever they get best new artist or whatever and you have like those bands that perform something and they're out there in front of those that crowd and you just hear that live just they just freaking own it you know and some of the best moments like live shows are cool but those are just people right those are just us the fans watching a band like make celebrities go yes <laughs> yes that is real talent you have the skill we are you know, we can do our thing, but that right there, music is, is a whole, like, any actor or actress can make you feel something in a performance, you know, uh, if they're talented enough, granted. But music, I think, as far as emotional response, actors, you can't even see it anymore. It is, music makes people feel a whole, in a whole it makes them feel something in another universe. It's just so much more. And it's so much more important in that kind of regard for most people. Um, there are some people, I know people that just don't like music. That just, that they don't hate it. They just don't give a shit about it. They don't care. Um, so all my AC just turned on. I hope it's not too loud for you guys. Um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, that's just a thing, man. That's, uh, and, and for me hearing those long, uh, and, and the, the trumpet, being a big fan of the trumpet, it's just, uh, you know, Let's be dumb and just say 20 out of 10, joking, of course, but 11 out of 10, more than that, is a good song, and I really, really did enjoy it. That was fun. Um, and I'm really glad we checked that out. So for the people that uh, suggested that, I do appreciate it. And just know you f you let me find one of my favorite songs from 21 Pilots, my favorite song from 21 Pilots, one of my favorite songs, I think, in general, uh, is this live performance. I'm not always a big fan of live uh, as far as my casual listening to. Um, I like live when it comes to like comedy and you get to hear the, the crowd react that way. 
And music, I mean, the only time I really, really care about a live, really like it is like ACDC or something like that. Because it's, you know, it's Angus Young, man. It's that, it's one of the best fucking guitarists, in my opinion. And one of the best entertainers from any band ever. Like, that dude is just there for your entertainment and and all of that. So, it's really good, man. Um, I really did enjoy it. Even my face doesn't really always say that I did. Um, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. If you like the video, like the content, you can like, subscribe, and share. Remember, it's completely up to you. I do appreciate it, though. It does help me out in some way or another. If you want to leave a comment discussing what we, we talked about on this channel, on this video specifically, you can always leave a comment down below. Love to see and love to hear all the comments. Once again, my name is Azrael, and I'll see you in whatever video I'm doing next. Later, guys.